guys uh, is just to uh, record the P3D in uh, triple monitor resolution which is in my case uh, is uh, 6023 uh, by 1080 pixel uh, in this area there's no high density airport or city so the frame rate is really good you can see the screen uh, turn on the frame rate it's fluctuating but it's pretty smooth uh, so this flight we are going to land in about uh, one or two minutes at uh, a pretty remote area where there's no high density city see how it handle during uh, landing in terms of the smoothness some external view so you can handle uh, no mountainous area with clouds of course at this point here we don't have very high density cover so some startling here as a pen the view uh, this is with uh, 2k texture and uh, four time super sampling and DLIC. Uh, frame rate is set to unlimited and the uh, uh, triple buffer is off uh, V-Sync is off but there is still some startling going on it is 6023 x uh, 1080 resolution The recording is very smooth, uh, no drop frame. So the elongated view that you see in the recording is due to the triple monitor. Yeah. Changing view, this is different view from Taste Plane. The view is very smooth. Visually, I can't tell if there's a drop frame or not, but it just feels so smooth. And we will be landing soon. Uh, it's going to be runway 18 at the. This is. Thailand area. I happen to be flying here with the uh, FS economy. So just want to record this uh, triple monitor resolution uh, and to test out how good the resolution is. Just bear in mind that this aircraft don't have the avionics, so in terms of virtual cockpit, uh, there's, there's not very demanding in terms of uh, uh, CPU load for the virtual cockpit like this. I'm just flying to using the uh, SciTech panel. 
so that's why I'm able to fly it without avionics. And so that panel is linked through the uh, SIM connect. So now we shall begin to descend. Well, like uh, 15 nautical miles out. Mountainous area in the early morning. Some external view again. Yep. Yep. Some startling going on once you get, once you have the view expanded to this almost 6,000 by the 1,000 resolution. CPU is now uh, running at 4.4 gigahertz, uh, 8 core, and I also uh, overclocked the RAM to uh, 3200 speed. So everything is. I'm not sure whether you will crash. Uh, so far it's been quite stable using the P3D as a stress test. Okay, <laughs> body is at 1080, uh, 1088 elevation. So we can approach at uh, altitude of 2800 feet. Slowing down, slowing down now. Pretty near the runway. Slowing to one eight zero. Shadow is set to uh, high. Shadow setting in P3D. Uh, this is not ray shadow, okay? You <laughs> really haven't got the ray trace shadow yet, so the test for the RTX uh, 2080 Ti is not to test the ray tracing speed. I'm just interested in the raw speed uh, without, you know. Uh, mainly, I want to test uh, whether it can be. You can achieve a smooth frame rate yeah. because in landing, especially during landing, uh, you want to be very good frame rate you know, or not not necessarily high frame rate, but you need to have very smooth frame rate to have a good landing touchdown, which to me is the most satisfying process of uh, flight simming. So we off all the autopilot now. Runway 1A is right ahead. So this is flying at a triple monitor with the RTX uh, 2080 Ti. CPU is the uh, i7 5960X uh, overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz and uh, RAM is uh, speed at 3200 megahertz I think for the RAM speed correct me if, if I'm wrong okay set speed to 120 from the tower view yeah you can see the shadow not ray trace shadow it's not ray trace lighting I mean, if you look at it, do it really need a ray trace lighting for flight sim? I think it's look pretty good enough. I don't think we need a ray trace, you know. So, just want to find out how smooth can the RTX 2080 go 
I mean 2080 Ti. Okay, on, on final. Run with 180. See the control is very smooth with the smooth frame rate like this. It's always more enjoyable to fly with a smooth frame rate like this. Turning and uh, as you turn into the final four touch tower, it's pretty smooth. Prepare to uh, shut down the auto throttle. Here we are lined up two white and two red. Shut down auto throttle and engine to idle. Quite a heavy touchdown. That's all for this uh, test. Triple monitor resolution 6023 by 1080 pixel. Alright, and thank you.